I'm Lisa Lieberman. I guess I'm a potter. So the very few times of my life that I've tried to not do pottery, I felt like there's something missing. And that's because I grew up in a pottery. My mom's grandfather was a glaze chemist in Staffordshire, which is like a famous town for pottery in England. My mom studied pottery making and art in London. And she worked in a pottery in London after that. So now this is about 1953. She'd never been to South Africa. She's completely English. My father was Jewish from Lithuania, born in South Africa, but from Lithuania. And his father sent him to London to study law. And through a friend of his, he met my mom. And he decided he loves my mom. So he dropped out of law school and got a job as an apprentice at this pottery. He was like sweeping and firing the kiln and sleeping next to the kiln to make sure that it fires properly. And he learned everything. So by the time he left London with my mom, he had the title of Master Potter. <laughs> so I've been asked um, to replicate a few things that were made in the 70s by my parents. And it's kind of tricky because they developed their glazes themselves. There weren't commercial glazes in South Africa. They developed their glazes using materials, silica and alumina and fluxes, and then, and then they used oxides, cobalt for blue, iron for yellows, manganese for browns and purples. Like for instance, copper creates green, but you can get like maybe 15 different greens from copper. And that depends on the glaze, whether it's an alkaline glaze or an acid glaze, and it depends on the temperature it's fired to. Oh yeah, my mom used to say that pottery is full of surprises. Pottery is very weather-centered, and that's because you're dealing with something that's wet, that's got to slowly dry. And in its drying process, it's going to shrink. And in its shrinking process, it's going to either like shrink well or it's going to crack. So you've got to manage that whole process. And because of that, you're always thinking about the weather. If it's very cool and it's raining like it does in Plettenberg Bay, where I spent 18 years making pottery, um, sometimes people just have to wait. You know, um, I've had people order basins in the middle of winter and they're trying to finish their house and I had to say to them, I'm sorry, but your basins are still drying because it actually hasn't stopped raining for three weeks and they aren't going to dry. <laughs>